Hello, Wisdom Seekers, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, you'll learn your tarot energy for the week ahead and discover a gemstone that can support you with that situation. This is an exercise in strengthening your intuition and learning how to use gemstones to support your everyday life challenges. It will also help you learn how to receive the tarot's guidance and use it to navigate life situations. For those new to the channel, welcome. I'm Shannon Marie. I'm a published author, certified gemologist, and a Reiki teacher. These videos are designed to help you learn more about gemstones and how to use them to improve the quality of your daily life. For those who haven't experienced one of these readings, gaze at the picture of the cards. Choose card A, B, or C. Then pause the video and comment your choice below. Allow your intuition to be your guide. See which card draws your eyes or attention. Then, when you comment with your card selection, you are accepting the message from your intuition and developing a stronger connection and trust in your own inner wisdom. Then, resume the video. You can use the links in the description box below to go straight to your card choice. I will describe the message of each card and provide a gemstone to support you with the energy of that card. Allow yourself to accept what resonates for you and release what doesn't. And just a note from past readings, these gemstones are chosen very intentionally. Each gemstone is unique, even though qualities may be similar to others. If you don't have this stone, rather than ask for a substitute, I advise that if you really feel called to this reading and stone, it's an opportunity to purchase it and add it to your crystal collection. The deck I'm using today is the Light Seer's Tarot. At this time, take several moments, several deep breaths, and select your card. If you chose card A, your card of the week is the Four of Pentacles, or Four of Discs, depending on the deck that you use. And the theme of this card is generosity. This card indicates that you have achieved a secure foundation in life. You've worked hard and have attained a nice level of financial security. You and your family have enough and are comfortable. This card cautions you not to become overly attached to the idea of making money and to avoid hoarding it. This is a positive card and means that it's an ideal time to let some of that go. It could be time to make an investment, buy a new home, take a financial risk you've been considering. This is the time to use some of that extra income. Another way of letting go of some of the extra income could be by supporting a charity or a nonprofit organization. This is a great time to support a friend's business or another local small business. A letting go of something makes room for more of that to come into your life. Being generous attracts more abundance. This is a cycle of generosity and abundance. Sending some out, making room to receive more in. If you hoard, you will always feel in need of more and will never be satisfied. It is safe to loosen the grip on the coins right now. If you're not feeling secure or abundant right now, take some time to consider what you have. Sometimes a fear of scarcity will cause us to overlook exactly how comfortable or prosperous we are. Then finally, to achieve more security, be generous. Even if it is giving of your time, emotional support, or word of mouth, that will open the door for more to arrive. If this message is resonating with you this week, the gemstone that can support you is sunstone. This is a gemstone of prosperity, abundance, and generosity. It invites abundance if you take active steps to open up to it. Sunstone helps you recognize positive opportunities for prosperity and enables you to see the abundance already in your life. This is also a stone that reminds us not to forget others during times of personal security. 
support others whenever you are able. Sunstone encourages abundance for all. Sit with Sunstone to discover how you can support others and to appreciate what you have. If you chose card B, your card of the week is the Three of Cups. The theme of this card is Chosen Family. This is a card of appreciating the family that you have chosen. This card reminds you to take some time and be with the people and communities that feed your heart and soul. This could be with your family or close friends. But remember that family can include whoever we choose. A sense of family does not rely on a blood connection. Look at your life and acknowledge who you feel are your family, your soul tribe. This card may indicate that you haven't spent enough time with loved ones lately, and it's time to schedule that lunch, coffee date, or game night. Maybe there is a cause to gather and celebrate coming soon, a milestone, birthday, or achievement. If you are feeling lonely right now, sit in quiet to uncover who may be supporting you that you are overlooking. There could be a new friend nearby and all it will take is one conversation to help it grow. No matter how busy life is right now, take some time for family and community. If this message is arising for you this week, the gemstone that can support you is emerald. Emerald is a stone that strengthens relationships and helps you appreciate family. It enables you to realize that family can be chosen, not just those we are born with. Emerald encourages you to take time with loved ones right now and nurture those relationships. It assists you in opening up to new friends and expanding your chosen family. This stone helps you uncover your soul tribe and reminds you that you are not alone. Sit with Emerald to uncover who you should reach out to right now. If you chose card C, your card of the week is the tower. The theme of this card is massive change. Parts of life will be coming to an end and we must be prepared to let that go and move into a new way of being. It's important to remember that change can be very good for us. If you've been holding on to something much longer than you needed to, and it has outlived its purpose in your life, then the universe may decide it needs to step in and move your life plan ahead for you. But don't forget that every time something ends, there is amazing potential for something beautiful to arise. It is okay to mourn what is no longer there, but don't latch onto it and be paralyzed by the change. This is also not the time to make quick, rash decisions. Do what you can to remain calm and seek out your personal sources of refuge, family, friends, meditation, exercise, hobbies, etc to help you feel comforted and safe during change. Look carefully at everything that is happening in life so you can determine all the options and make wise decisions. Seek counsel if you need it to help you plan your path forward. You can handle this. You are strong, resilient, and ready for the new amazing opportunities that this massive change will bring. If this message is arising for you this week, the gemstone that can support you is Cherowite. This is a stone of transformation and acceptance. It helps us through times of immense change. This stone helps to release great fear and to look at our current situation in a calm manner. It helps us to accept the present and make wise decisions that are not based in fear reactions. Cherowite helps you to move with the flow rather than struggle against the current. This doesn't mean that you will blindly go where you are taken, but that you will fluidly find the best option for the situation you find yourself in instead of forcing options that just don't work. Sit with Cherowite to help you keep calm and make wise choices during the chaos. Thank you so much for sitting with me this week to explore what energy may be arising for you this week and which gemstone can help you. If you've been watching these videos and you enjoy them, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you'll get an email as soon as a new video is released. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you again soon.